And the team standings have been updated after our last weight class, so now the Russian Federation improves to 152 points. Turkey takes the second place spot with 107. Azerbaijan in third with 66. Romania in fourth with 61. And Armenia jumps from eighth to fifth. And they have 60 points, so that rounds out the top five. Down to the final set of matches at 82. This is bronze. Hannes Wagner of Germany taking on Imra Kuss of Turkey. Kuss, a world champion bronze medalist in 2013. Wagner's a big body at this weight, at 82 kilo. You see the height he has, a couple of inches on his Turkish counterpart. I'm sure he's right at the upper end of 82 kilos and then some. Like so many of these Germans, they are physically always up to the task, strength-wise, conditioning. It's been a trademark of that country for years, especially in Greco-Roman. They don't wear out, they just Keep coming at you. Really no change in facial expressions throughout the course of a match. They don't show any exhaustion. They earned a medal yesterday and trying to do the same now at 82 for Wagner. Passivity point goes to Kuss of Turkey in a 1-0 lead. Kuss had a tough match in the quarters. He was able to take out the Armenian 2-1. to one. He's had some low scoring bouts. Defensive wrestler in the fact that he doesn't give up a lot of points. Hasn't put up a lot either on the converse side of that. He's looking for a reverse lift in this situation. You see the knees up by the face and the Head of the German, Wagner. This is a long, lanky, powerful German to do a reverse lift with, and Koos is unable to get the job done. See Wagner stretching out those shoulders a little bit. He had a lot of torque being applied. Koos was coming in pretty hard on those particular joints. A one nothing lead, two minutes in, first period. Bronze medal bout, we're gonna have a dandy for gold in just a few moments with Georgia and Denmark. One of those guys who doesn't put a lot of points on the board, but he's extremely experienced in close matches, and he usually comes out on top. A lot of one, two point matches for Emre Kous, returning world silver medalist. And this is not a match for Wagner that you want to get stuck in. Because like I said, almost all the time that Koos is in on one of these one or two point matches, he comes out on top. Yes, yeah, certain guys just have that, that MO about them where they can get it done. They're comfortable in those tight bouts. They don't feel the pressure like some competitors. That's where they've learned to make their living and Koos has been a guy that has done that quite well throughout the years. One thing though to keep in mind is Wagner should get a chance to tie it up. So Koos is going to have to find a way to get some offense, you would think. I don't think he's going to be 
aggressive enough to keep the passivity away for long and he is driving hard to start this second period. Wagner trying to get those big meat hooks in, those under hooks, trying to shovel in, but Ku's doing a good job defending, keeping those long arms away and at bay for the time being. Now Koos drives in with a bit of energy. Forearmed away by the German Wagner. And a whistle, 36 seconds in, and they say ahead is the issue there with Turkey. Kuz coming in, crown to the head instead of face up. So he gets warned, back to action we go. And he just keeps coming though. I like how Kuz is approaching this period. Right under hook on that arm, left side of the body of Wagner. Now Kuz slowly trying to sneak that left arm in, can't get it through. And we get a whistle and a point to Koos. So a 2-0 lead, yeah. Th there's a perfect example of how you win one-point matches. So even though typically it should be Wagner who should be going parterre, for the second time it's Koos because he just keeps coming, does enough, trying to get the hold, and Wagner in this case not. And now he pays the price, down two. He was trying to get that reverse. He had no such luck there, none whatsoever. I think he was stunned a little bit at the quick whistle. And back to action we go. Minute 33. Wagner needs two, so the passivity won't get it done now. He would have had the criteria, but Koos's style, his aggressiveness, taking care of that. It's a big German head slap. He apologizes. Back to work. And Koos in that, when he was in parterre in the top, he wasn't happy that Wagner was blocking off and it didn't look like he really was making an attempt to pick up that reverse lift. At this point, just fighting the clock because he knows with his defense, he's comfortable. Two point lead for Emmer Koos, might as well be a seven point lead. So Wagner gets the one. It comes five minutes, 13 seconds in to this bout. Exactly, and finally Koos gets tagged with the passivity. Wagner down a point though, because he's been tagged with it twice. 30 seconds remains. Fans of Greco-Roman, in particular Imra Koos, have been down this road before. Two to one, Koos, 13. The German running out of options, but more importantly, running out of time. Now he has the hands locked for a second, but he just couldn't get the feet to follow. And Imra Koos, guess what? It's another one point win. Defensive battle, Wagner exhausted. And a 2-1 final, Turkey tacks on another to solidify their spot in that number two rotation. Russia, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Turkey gets the points.